All right, so this is uh, on a code red basis. So um, yeah, no no special intros. I'm sorry if you're new, but let's get into it. Okay, guys, welcome back. This is uh, like I said on some breaking news type of category when it comes to these bits of content because usually you guys should know if you are regulars here that I do like to obviously add a little bit of editing and post but for this I'm gonna just be reacting to the brand new 15 second TV spot that came out and apparently there's something in here that they shouldn't have shown us which kind of worries me but I you know was very fearful of this happening anyway shout out to Kronos for pointing this out and to directly showing me this because he did not want me being spoiled by twitter and the rest of the internet obviously by now at the time of this recording i'm sure everyone has seen what i'm about to watch so put my headphones on and uh, we'll get right to it Superhero. Are you okay? Hold on, you gotta be fucking freeze us in this. Okay, one more time since it's so short. Broly, bro, oh. I'm so done. They're really putting, dude. What? Why is Frieza here? Why is why is Frieza here? What's wrong with what's wrong with Chilai? See, they're all on they're all on the Beerus planet. I mean, clearly they're probably there to make food for them. I don't know why she's like still carrying that bag of whatever it is, but look at this! Look at this, my guy. What the hell is you know what this could be this could be trailer trickery. Let me let's be let's be real Okay, obviously there's a lot more to unpack from this just because you know, I mean like like you saw like look like Freaking Yajirobe is here. I'm sure like These guys these characters are really like like Yajirobe and Frieza And look, we even see boo for a little bit like I don't think this is gonna be anything i don't i really don't think frieza is gonna do anything major in this film i think that they might have maybe brought frieza up in conversation possibly i don't think frieza is even gonna get involved i don't think frieza is gonna do a single thing i feel like this is one of those shots when a character is being talked about and they're there i don't know if I don't know if they're gonna even have anyone I, I don't even know if they're gonna have the the actors come in and, and give them any lines you know what i'm saying like i don't i don't think that's gonna happen i just think that they're putting the freezer shot in there just to get people talking similarly to how toriyama said that gohan is the strongest or whatever it's stronger than anyone if you missed out on that video definitely check that out it was the video i did before this one um so i mean that's pretty much all of this so let me i'm gonna i'm gonna play it from here because we have, we also do have a nice shot of broly i believe where is it right here oh oh yes my boy all right looking good swollen than ever so now i'm gonna play it from the beginning with the super the, the super slow down so that way we can really see um, everything I'm gonna have it muted obviously so that way we can kind of catch these things as they happen yeah, and I can pause with my space bar okay this is a cool shot of what looks like the key fighting players right I mean we see Goku and Vegeta in there but I really do believe that they're gonna be occupied on Beerus planet I don't think they're gonna get involved in this final fight I mean, all the scenes that we've seen them in so far, they're not even on Earth. They're literally where they're at with Broly, and I'm sure they're going to be trying to just help Broly with his key control and all that stuff. They're just going to be helping him out. That's, the, that's their role here, because obviously, how are they going to have a Dragon Ball movie without those two? 
they've been so heavily involved in the last few arcs so obviously that's a given that's i think what's gonna happen gohan and piccolo dead center as you see in this shot that's the focus right there so let's not forget about that and see i mean look they're they're goku and vegeta man they're 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 clearly fighting on beerus planet like every single trailer has shown them there only and oh my god look at broly and broly's broly's there too so we already know so all right the funny thing about this scene it looks like pan literally fought all these people pan is at, dude i'm telling you pan is having a young gohan moment just like her father the apple did not fall off the damn tree here okay that shit is the same look i look look and she yo she did she just bloody somebody you see the green in the back <laughs> yo pan is out here dude just like her daddy yo i'm telling you i'm telling this scene people probably didn't even peep this but pan low-key handled all these grunts herself so shout out to the to the girl pan okay because that's that's fire that's actually really cool okay so we get a little um, krillin yeah whatever android 18 bruh then day <laughs> then day look at look at check out then day he's looking uh you know youthful but aging at, at at the same time majin Buu. frieza i can't believe they really have the audacity to throw frieza in there son to try to play with people's emotions Ooh. okay so the gammas have some cool moves okay all right so now what we're gonna look at now right we're gonna look at some translations provided by chronicles um so chronicles went ahead and actually just put the put the translations i guess a uh, hard way uh themselves so we can check those out right now Superhero. all superheroes assemble okay don't you dare mock me witness the fierce battles among these superheroes all right so nothing nothing crazy to take from that it's pretty straightforward it's just a hype it's just to hype up you know the movie more but i i, I notice the only thing i guess that we could take from this is that notice how the trailer is referring to all of these characters as superheroes so i don't know if going forward this is gonna be like one of those things where you know how in dragon ball z they were called the z warriors what if going forward they're calling them the superheroes which would be weird because i mean it's it's dragon ball super i, I mean they're not like on some great saiyan man shit but you know like i mean who's to say the gammas don't turn out to be like more freaking you know good guys you know what i'm saying like they end up becoming actual superheroes like they're a part of the group you know what i'm saying like that's the only thing i could really think of when it comes to that but that's basically that's basically it don't you dare mock me so i wonder who's mocking vegeta do you think maybe vegeta did something and broly copied him yo imagine broly did a fucking gallic gun ha! that's something to fucking that's that, that's something to to mock him i guess i don't know they really, they really had to get Bulma standing over like that. I mean, people were gonna go see this movie either way. Like, they, what are they doing? They don't have to do all that. All right. And then the other thing here is, uh, Chronicles again did his own subs for the part one of the trailer that we already saw. So I guess we'll go check this out as well while we're here. Now remember this. I did a reaction to this already. So if you missed out on that, go check out that video as well, please. Thank you. The world oh okay so the world's most anticipated super blockbuster okay fair fair awaken <laughs> who are you we're superheroes huge clash of superheroes a never before seen showdown among superheroes uh-huh Time to show us your true power. 
Okay, so I feel like Piccolo is saying that to the Gammas or whoever they're fighting. You know, because then again, you know, they might be there might be something, something, something else. Not some perfect shit, you know what I'm saying? Alright. So time to show us your true power. Dragon Ball Super Superhero. Holy crap. Also, the deadliest of all is born. Mmm. Now that, now this is a talking point right here. The deadliest of all is born. Deadliest of all is born. I mean, you know, this could be taken in any which way, man. But I, I, I've been, I've been kind of leaning more towards the idea of what some people have been also saying with, if this is Cell, this could be a cell i mean obviously this is going to be a brand new cell this is not going to be a cell that we've seen already and i've said this plenty of times before already that if this obviously is cell that it's going to be a, a new cell with new abilities and whatnot and part of that those new abilities could end up being majin buu techniques majin buu attacks so on and so forth um it, it, it could be a lot of different things the deadliest of all is born this ha this is a reborn cell, bro. Like this is this is this is a, this is cell with new hacks and all those things. I'm telling you, that's probably what it's gonna be. And the fact that like they you know Majin Buu like Majin Buu's not gonna do anything. I don't think. I mean, he might he might fight. He might. Who's to say he he wouldn't? But I think that that could po be a really really strong possibility that you know i mean we could even we could even take some of the other text from earlier within this first trailer like awaken right obviously this is point that's pointed a lot more towards gohan right but i i i want to obviously you know emphasize this that sometimes with trailers they can essentially give away things just based on how they deliver it and it could apply to other things within the movie it, it themselves because like i like i just said like this awaken part right right at the beginning okay and then obviously they're showing they're showing gohan powering up the the the, the next shot of course one could imply like okay like that's for gohan obviously it's going to be but that could also be taken in the light of awaken to whoever is in that you know that chamber at the end so that's this is this is getting way more interesting the closer we get to it we're almost we're almost in june so we still have a ways to go but uh i do want to say guys thank you for checking this out if you've made it this far let me know your thoughts do you guys think that frieza is actually gonna play some sort of a role or or are you guys lining up with what i was saying with how i'm pretty sure this is just kind of like a frieza mention but that's it there's nothing there's gonna there's not gonna be anything beyond that um do you guys think that it's gonna be cell with some majin Buu powers and other types of hacks or whatever let me all let me know in the comments below like share subscribe hit me up on twitter all that good stuff support links are gonna be in the description as always make sure y'all are taking care of yourselves may the power protect you keep it locked loaded right here on this channel stay safe stay clean stay inside i'll see you guys next time